Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky, and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Y'all, I have yet another haul. Surprise! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need rehab at this point, but I feel like I might not be alone. So we don't need rehab. We're good, right? This is a judgment-free zone. I picked up a few things. Um, I bought a new purse. I picked up another body butter from Trader Joe's. I picked up some perfume. Yeah, I... I'm trying to get around to filming my perfume collection. So hopefully I cool off my shopping for a little while so that I don't add anything else. So there's that. So let's get into my little haul. First, I will pick up these sunglasses. So a few hauls ago, um, I had blue hair. So look up a collective haul for blue hair. I'll make sure I link it in the cards. Um, but I picked up some sunglasses from Gilt and they sent me the wrong sunglasses. So I've since then been able to get the correct sunglasses. So I have worn these a couple of times at this point, but these are Fendi sunglasses. This is my first and probably only pair of designer sunglasses that I'll have. I'm just used to buying my sunglasses off of Shein, Target. Um, I'm not used to paying more than like, I don't know, $15, maybe even 20 for a pair of sunglasses. These were on sale marked down to $100 from like almost $500. But here is what they look like. They got a little uh, like side rim here that I thought was so cute um I, I have makeup on I'm scared to put them on <laughs> these are just so cute to me um they're a little flimsy I don't I don't like that okay I don't like that. Why Why are my $3 sunglasses more sturdy than this? Which is part of why, you know. But it could just be because they're thin wire frames. So, whatever. I thought they were cute. So, I got them. Next, I picked up the body butter from Trader Joe's. This pumpkin body butter. And... Again, um, I just recorded a Bath and Body Works um, haul and I picked up a couple of pumpkin scents. I swear, I don't like the smell of pumpkin. Maybe it's fresh pumpkin. I don't know. I don't like the smell of pumpkin pie. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. But hopefully this body butter smells good. Oh, that's thick. If you are familiar with Trader Joe's body butters and you know, if not, you need to get you a Trader Joe's body butter. If not this one, get that coconut body butter. That one is out, I believe, year round. And when the spring, summer comes, get you that Brazil nut body butter and stock up on it now, okay? Because it's seasonal and, and it goes fast. But let's... This actually smells pretty good. It smells cinnamony. This smells like pumpkin apple spice. I ain't gonna hold you, I really like this one. So in the event you picked up some of the 595 body mist from Bath and Body Works, but you didn't pick up any of the lotions. If you have anything that has like pumpkin cinnamon scent, get this, like get this first because this is like 599 and it's a huge tub of body butter that you could most likely use with those fragrance mist in the event you don't have a matching lotion or body cream. So try it out. Next, I bought a purse from Kate Spade. Y'all, I used to buy purses all the time. I have a little mini purse collection over here. I have a ton of Kate Spade purses. They're not on the shelf that's visible, but I have a ton of Kate Spade purses. So 
you're interested in my purse collection, let me know in the comments. I will try to record that. But this is what I picked up. This is the Natalia mini flap, I wanna say. And I think the color is electric lime. It might look yellow on camera, but it's like this light matte lime green. Like, this is just so amazing for me. It's a small purse. It's got a single flap. It's got an open pocket. An open single pocket. So you can get a good amount of stuff in this purse. And it has, it has a back flap here. Y'all. Yeah. I loved this purse so much that I took off the purse I was wearing and swapped them out in the store. And I was wearing my um, Gucci crossbody, by the way, which I'm not even gonna get into the price difference because that doesn't matter. It's about how you like the item. It's more so that than the actual whose name's on there. But this was so perfect for me because in the event you haven't noticed or if you're new to my channel, I kind of call myself Plain Jane for a reason, even though my name's not Jane. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty plain and simple in the clothes I wear. I will, I must have like 15 to 20 black tees, which is why you almost always see me in a black shirt when I'm recording. Cause every time Old Navy or New York and Company does those t-shirt sales, I rack up on black tees. Alternatively, I'll pick up this color t-shirt, maybe like a mustard yellow t-shirt, but for the most part, it's a black t-shirt, some leggings or jeans, and sneakers. That's just my style. And I'll add color with like my accessories. So I'll get like a, a colorful bag like this, a nice little pop of color, some cute dainty accessories. But other than that, like my style, I feel like it's pretty, plain and simple, hence plain Jane. <laughs> and if anybody was ever wondering why is it just plain Jane, like your name is Victoria, so <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, that's why it is just plain Jane. And next I'm gonna get into the perfumes that I bought. So if you saw my most recent scent subscription video, then you will, this will make sense to you. <laughs> literally right after i finished recording i kept smelling my arms because i had sprayed instant crush on one arm and four botanica on the other arm and i just was going back and forth and i just couldn't get enough so i immediately went to fragrance net and i ordered them and it was 30 percent off so at least that's that's how we rationalize these right like it's oh it's it's five percent off let's buy it <laughs> first i have a 1.6 fluid ounce bottle of flora botanica from balenciaga so here's my bottle of flora botanica this is such a cute bottle actually so the notes to flora botanica in the top we have mint in the middle we have rose carnation and cannabis and in the base we have vetiver and amber so let's see if I still like it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's fresh, floral, a little, a little dirty floral, but like, it's still a nice floral. I felt like I could smell more of that cannabis note that I think that cannabis note is like that dirty scent that I'm getting. Let me see what Fragrantica actually describes the cannabis note as. So the older profile on Fragrantica has this as an aromatic smoky note with a dirty sour nuance. So there's a, a dirty, put my middle finger down y'all. There's a dirtiness to this and that is the cannabis note. I think when you start growing your collection and you get to have so many fragrances, 
I think there comes a point where you need that fragrance to stand out for you to continue adding them. So for me, if I spend more than I want to say $40 on maybe even like $25, because I find a lot of them in Burlington, TJ Maxx and Marshalls for under $30. And a lot of them, like, they'll smell good initially and then over time, I'm just like, whatever about them. But if I'm spending more than that for fragrances, I'm starting to need them to, like, stand out for me to dish out the extra money because I can go somewhere and get a whole bunch of cheapies. So, last but not least is Instant Crush by Mancera. And this is a four fluid ounce bottle, y'all. It was all they had, so it wasn't like I, I made the choice. <laughs> okay, we got we got a bag. Okay, I like that. So here is our instant crush bottle. This is this is cute. In the top we have saffron, ginger, Sicilian mandarin, and Sicilian bergamot. In the middle we have amberwood, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, and Indonesian patchouli leaf. And in the base we have Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, white musk, and oak moss. So this is a magnetic closure. Love those for me. Oh. It's, it's, a, ooh. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. It's a little spicy from the ginger and saffron. But this smells so good. And smelling this again, it really does remind me of Tom Port Noir Parfum. So I might actually stop my search for that because I have Instant Crush. I'm gonna smell my sample of Tom Port Noir Parfum again just to just to make sure. But this is sexy, is bold, is daring. Ugh, I love this. <laughs> I feel like this has probably entered my top five chat. So there's a possibility I'm gonna do a top five, 10 ish list because y'all, there are just some perfumes that you just need, okay? You just, you need them. So, and I think Instant Crush is one of those. If you like a nice, bold, daring perfume, if you like patchouli, get you a sample if you think it's too pricey do what i did start out with your samples from royalty Scents. i can't keep stressing y'all i can't keep stressing that enough use those samples and even if you really like it just get the same sample every month so so that concludes this haul i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one